certainly it sounds out of the ordinary, right? Um, she was at Goldman, as you say, for seven years, although uh, not all of it was she an undocumented immigrant. Um, so look, I think there are kind of two answers about what happened. On the one hand, how she actually got to Goldman uh, w is that she was using fake papers. She had a, a fake green card and a fake social security card, and you have to read my story to find out how, how she got those things. But I think probably the more important thing, and, and the thing that I found more interesting while I was working on the story, is that the reason that I think she probably was undetected for a lot of the time is that she was kind of just a perfect Goldman Sachs employee. She was incredibly ambitious, and she was incredibly driven and incredibly focused. I mean, even with me, when I was reporting the story, when I was fact-checking with her, I was going to say that she um, can lift 125 pounds behind her back while doing a certain kind of exercise, and she sent me a video and a person who could confirm that it was actually 150, wow. so that I have more. You know, this is a woman who, who really, um, she, she, she's a real, a perfect golden knight. Also, an interesting point you make in your article is that people don't necessarily think that an undocumented immigrant would be working at a Goldman Sachs, sort right. of that prejudice uh, working for her in that way, I guess I should say. Right, right. So um, I talked to, I think, dozens of people over the story, two, two dozen, and one of them was someone who worked with her, and, and they became friends. And one thing he says in the story that he said to me was, you know, I knew she was from Mexico because Julissa uh, grew up in a small city called Tasco, and then she came to Texas on a tourist visa, but uh, outstayed it, which is why she became undocumented. Um, but he said, never would have occurred to me to think that she, that something was amiss. You know, because I think at this level, people just assume that their friends kind of belong. You know, they, mm -hmm. they hang out, they're smart, they're impressive. I don't think they really, they really question it. Uh, what is she doing now? Any sort of political movement in this immigration yeah, talk? Yeah, so p the, not to give away the story, but the big thing that happens is she sort of gets everything she wants. She became wealthy because at Goldman you're well paid. She became elite because Goldman's a remarkable firm. And she also became legal because she got married. Um, but she was also really unsatisfied and unhappy. So she left to, and she's working now with a nonprofit called Define America.